How's it going guys? It's HodgePodge and today we are making Marvel's Infinity Stones. Now I got all this stuff on eBay and I have it all in the link below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So guys, the first thing you will need for this is alum, also known as potassium aluminium sulfate. Next you will need at least 6 cups. One pack of food colouring. Now I really recommend this brand because it guides you with a little chart of how to make the other colours. 6 LED colour assorted lights. 5 breadboard wires. 1 switch, 2 9 volt batteries and their connectors. Next you're going to add a quarter of the cup with hot water and add their colours. Furthermore, you're going to add 2 teaspoons of alum to the mixture and stir. Then you're going to cover them with cling wrap and then leave them for about 24 hours. The next day you will get large crystal chunks that will crush into smaller bits. Then you're going to add those crushed crystals into a cup and add its designated colour dye and stir. Place the crystals on a laminated surface for them to dry. Next I mixed the hot glue with the dye and then I quickly added the mixture onto the LED bulb. Before it hardens, dip the mixture into the crystals for them to stick onto the bulb. Your infinity stone should look something like this. After this, simply repeat the process for all the other infinity stone colours. Next comes the base. All you need is some styrofoam and two different shades of brown paint. Tear apart the styrofoam leaving a more layered, natural look. Also be aware how much mess this makes, so you're going to have to be a bit messy and creative on how you want it to look. I found it difficult to dig out the surface, so what I did is I used a fork to turn the styrofoam, leaving a good rugged soil look. Smother the styrofoam in dark brown paint and just paint into every crevice there is. Then find a safe place for it to dry. Then get yourself the lighter shade of brown and dab the higher points of the surface. Now with the LED bulbs, the taller wire is the positive while the shorter is the negative. Stab the LED into the base so that the positive and negative sticks out at the bottom. Then repeat for every other stone and now you can choose wherever you want to put them. Lay the stones on a soft surface as we're going to flip it. Next hook up all the LEDs, batteries and the switch to make a circuit. I made a diagram as a simple understanding how it works for anyone who is not confident with any of this stuff. Anyways, it should look something like this. Then you're going to place the base on top of the batteries to cover them and to keep them out of sight. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It will help me out so much to grow this channel. I'll see you guys next time.